Okay, your limits, here we go. And I've just shifted all my weight here. This would be, if I side bend over that front side, this is a front side coil. Okay, side bending over the front leg in the gate. Okay, if I were to switch and go to the trailing leg, this is considered a backside coil. All right, so primarily for you guys in thought process, when you start to think about applying this stuff, front side coils are gonna be more about walking and gate stuff. Okay, eyes are gonna get on a target so they get level, right? I don't wanna be lopsided here. I'm drawing to that low lap. All my weight is in this leg and that funnel everything to this. The more I funnel to this, the more it's gonna allow me to get like a, like a really aggressive athletic angle, right? You'll note that my shin and my spine should be pretty congruent. Okay, I'm not, I'm not like tall shin and hip hinge type deal. So I have this aggressive, very aggressive, like athletic angle and like little to no weight. And that's really, it's the, it's the yeah. athletic patience to not do that natural left leg. Right. Just do that when it gets to the workout. And you'll start finding, especially if you're all of the other riprap around, all new, anytime you go to pick up coaching, it's just, hey. Like the other one, it was like 100% in this leg, this one, it's a little more of like a 70, 30, 60, 40 feeling in your body and just play around with that. But it's about sitting back. Yeah. Don't progress forward. You're gonna lose yourself. All right, think if you're hitting a baseball or you're chopping a tree down, you're not trying to like move through the tree. You don't wanna get that drifting. You wanna stay put so you can do repeats. You're the axis of rotation, yeah. right? You're not changing the axis of the rotation. The rotation comes and it powers from there. So fighters to see like that uppercut, things like that. I was saying for shooting, you'll like, you won't like being in here, or like being over that backside, you've got to like contain here. And if this side's higher. That thing hits the ground and this thing is still here, okay? And it was the same amount of force. So the nervous system gonna respond to that which you give it. And so if there's that urgency of it, right? And there's that like, at my limit with him intent, right? Now I'm primed and potentiated to just be more powerful, more engaged, more integrated. So limit force elastics is huge for us. For me, especially you can, so stay like, look at something in front of you and try to like steer all of the movement towards that object, okay? It's, yeah, and it's funny, like it'll light you up in a way. You're gonna be like, I'm just getting like eight notice. I tend to stay very like, turret. My head doesn't, I'm not like up and over. You can, you could amplify that, but coiling allows you to control vertical displacement, whereas up and over tends to make you get a little of that like boop, boop, boop. We get to stay level and move through. And now what's going to happen, all of you have pretty much been wanting to look back and get that elbow over. Now we're just going to make sure we look forward and we scoop. All right, so that elbow is going to keep chasing and that's going to drop down into what's going to feel like front side for a moment to switch. Lucy's right. going back there. Boom! This will be a good two. Yeah, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Nope, that's front side. Yeah, there it is. There. So basically what I'm gonna have us do right away with it is you're just gonna kind of jog around a little bit. Or like jog in place. Kind of try. So you think you're doing it all? I just wanna see. Oh. Close down the ground. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 why? Spring loaded. Wow. Them into these eventually. They both have utility for both different things. Okay. Yeah. And so picture this. Put so you, uh, when you're holding these, these are not meant to be like grippers for your hands. Okay. They're actually more for the innards of it to help it slide better for them. We want to do an okay sign around the top, and you want to cock your wrist back. Okay. So we, we tend to we say hamburger hands. So it should look like you're going to take a bite out of a hamburger. All right. I will slide uh, slide my. Uh, pointer finger or ring finger under that sometimes to help keep it in that shape. 
Okay. We're here. We're going to start with a little pulse, a hollow pulse, and then that's going to turn into a flutter pulse. Okay. This can help somebody get used to that, like, that feeling you want to get from school. It's left out in front, see how I've turned it over, that creates that high left shoulder. I drop into that right side coil. Because we know we're going to punch this forward, it can be like straight up like that, but some of you might even kind of have it as exactly you want. But we're here, you step up and pull into that coil as that comes down. Okay, so it's R and T. So it's right coil, left coil. Right coil, left coil. So nice. So nice. Yes. 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 So this can literally be just like a big step to keep it easy, or you can give me like a big hop. Catch yourself here. Here. Yeah, I think one at a time is best for this. Big lateral, not forward when you're doing it. Nice. That's it? Okay. Lateral. 180. 180. 180. Sorry. Lateral. Lateral. 180. 180. Sprint. So the first component is going to be that load, explode, load, explode. Load, explode, load, explode to get off. So we're jumping on both ends of it. Okay. Nice. We're going to teach the non-dominant side uh, to function better. So we got left in front of right. We go right hand on top of left. We go left pinky out. You're going to slice up and over. And we're going to work on trying to get the weight to shift from right side to left side. So I will exaggerate this when I coach a lot. It's just try to actually lift my other foot up to get you used to shifting your weight fully. Ram Matador, you're going to go for a one, two cross. 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 One, I'm going to guide you. Each layer I'm going to get you. It's okay. Yep. I know why you're confused. Yeah. Get the, cross. the first route that everybody, that most people pick up, I'd say 99% of people pick up, is that they're going to do a far steer. So, and you're going to cut to a near steer to start. Near steer, shoulder, near steer, near steer, near steer, near steer. <laughs> beehive. Beehive. Sounds like a beehive. Weird, I've never really done that one before. Ex yeah, he figured this out. External matador, yeah. Because it feels you're doing, an, well, that. Yeah. So it's that. So it's underhand. And then you. But the pronation at the end feels like an overhand. Yeah. But you cut it under and. Yeah. Hmm. It's cool. I like it. I've never done that one. Yeah. There. I want to see. That is, that is everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, the push is, 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 and I'm going to show you what's called the uh -huh. okay. It's the dividing line between internal and external sides. Please stay slow. We have two people there to do. Turn. Turn. Sit. Lift. Lift. 
Turn, flip, drag, flip, turn, flip, drag, flip, turn, flip, drag. Listen, be better than your student. It cannot be some ethereal, academic, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm going to sit in a chair and I'm going to learn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, do you, what can you really offer somebody if you can't talk about personal experience? Not well. Give them the same old, same old. But we're plus one. And what I want to do is I want to empower people that ultimately personal training's done, right? It's just coaches and everybody's on the path to independence. Everybody knows what to do already because everybody else around them is doing it, right? And we all speak English because we just were dropped into it. Osmosis, mirror neurons, positive negative feedback. I didn't sit in a chair and learn how to talk, right? I didn't take lessons on how to walk. I just saw it and I copied it. And if we are all walking like we signed a $500 million deal, right, with perfect balance, well, then other people are going to see that. And then the kids who are just born, if their parents do it and the school says do it, they're going to do it. And it's, I've seen a lot of people quite hunched over, but to me, it makes sense to be up, both upright. I haven't. You know? I haven't um... Because you why, why curve the spine if you don't need to? You know, why lift? I think you like you got you got long legs. Yeah. You have got long legs. It's got that. Well, I haven't even touched the. Uh, I haven't touched my bini ring since I did it. Okay. Find the position. All right. Good morning, people. Escape your limits. We're back here. <laughs> it's really helpful to learn it uh, bilaterally. It just feels a lot easier to understand because, like, both sides are working together. Um, but you're gonna have this green, uh, this map in front of you, and we're gonna be chasing this green line, or all the, uh, the green line through your body. And we're doing external torsion stuff. We can we kind of briefly touched on it yesterday, but we're looking for like this very like, like effortless, soft, passive, like, uh, like melt in. And that's where I get that like angle on the shin. I don't know why I'm like <laughs> dancing over here. But I want that like softness through yourself. So I want that through the shoulder as well. So you're just receiving gravity through the hands. You're not like, uh, like fighting really hard. So kind of, I think I went around to most of you yesterday, at least, and sort of pushed down on your arm and it just sort of went through your structure. So I'll show you David to come in from the front. Yeah, of course. Yep. So what I'll just, do, I'm just gonna like soften and he's yeah. just gonna push. So now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna drive the elbows down to sacrum. You give me one. Okay. That's too bad. Give me one down. Yeah, yeah but you can have somebody like press down like this and this can help you like sort of funnel and receive it. And then, then you can step away and the person can kind of have it because sometimes we just didn't quite break through where we need to get to to be able to like pin and hold it ourselves, right? Yeah, yeah look at that. <laughs> Tim's a pretty damn master. Look at that. Up, up, ski jumper, feel. Now supinate and even more. Now you're going to pronate and come up to shoulders. Googly, googly, raise the roof. Come up, those hands are going to get the wall behind the, the corner of the ceiling. Bring the elbows down to the sacrum. Yes, however many you want. That's it. You do not relent position. Once you get to the top, you do not relent. Woo! This one turns into a winner every time. It's a like It's a... The whole thing.
Eyes up, but that's it. Head up, then that's it. Yeah, yeah. This one's great. Eyes forward. Yeah, there we go. Maximum range. Eyes forward. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Yes, yes. Now bring that up a little. Boom, boom, boom. The hard one again is going to be trying to find the external of the bottom. But if you think of an explosive push up, you won't not find the external of the bottom. And it's because you, get, you generate more power in the foot position. Yes. More power in the foot position. So the rope flow community from a both sides utilized standpoint, in 2004, my discovery of it and practice of it was motivated by the carryover to martial art to be more lethal and survivability, right? I, and I recognized instantly that this was the Rosetta Stone and I was going to do it. Now, I also experienced the phase of just the pure joy of flow. And that's going out, you know, finding a place and four hours, I'm just rolling a rope. I got music in my ears. And that's why most people rope flow is because it feels good and I get to open it and flow. And they're not trying to punch someone in the face or not get punched in the face, right? But what keeps on coming back for me is always the training and the carryover. And so that attenuates how much stuff I need to learn with the rope and master because that's the bang for buck to carry over for Marshall. But if you're into the joy of it, then there's going to start coming another move. Then there's going to start coming another move. And then Alpac is going to do something we ain't seen. And then Good Flow is going to do something we ain't seen. And it's unbelievable, the skill set. And I'm just not interested in doing it. Because I got my thing, right? And I love the fact that people are doing it. Because not everybody's the same. If we can appeal to that person, appeal to that person, create a whole nexus that you all got the skill. I don't care what motivated you get the skill. And the skill that is important is proficiency with the four patterns. All right. If you don't have proficiency with the four patterns, well, stop making up moves and learn the four patterns. Then make up moves. Right. Pure gratitude to the rope flow community. The rope has the ability to tie it all together, each individual more control, authority, confidence in themselves, the confidence that cannot be faked, the confidence that cannot be purchased, true balance, perfect balance, that's what it is. And the rope puts it in you so that you are perfect. A tiger is perfect and he's born that way. I'm perfect. I had to cultivate it with intelligence, knowledge, and power every step. Stronger for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to do it in like Elias is one cut, direction. Cutting angles, yeah. That's that seems like the way to learn it, man. Yeah. And I can focus with my head first. Say, okay, I want to go to you. And then I want you to to David. Oh, so uh, any angle. When so. I'm here. I can switch a little bit the cardinal, like inner cardinal, inter cardinal lines. Yeah. With every direction. You're going 45s and everything, yeah. So I think the easiest is the, the dragon roll for me. Yeah. You just go in and experience, enjoy. I like it. <laughs> Attention, Dave's going to come in here and he's going to be able to little yank on me to make sure that I own it. So if he pulled me and I was like, oh, I didn't actually have it, right? I'm rooted, okay? So he pulls and now he can be like, oh, you got it, okay. Then the test would be, see how we just let go of it? Let go. And I'm still here. Now I'll do it again. Let go. Boom. Right? Because like, I was like leaning in or not actually in myself. Okay? So I want to learn the band that you have no fear it's going to break. I can take him yeah. out and he just doesn't change the angle. Mm -hmm. Right? And then I let go. And now he's working stronger than he was capable of working. We've mm -hmm. like overloaded him because his mass wasn't strong enough to get him out here. Mm -hmm. And we added mass to get him there, and then we let him be there. He's wedged in it. And it's the most incredible form of priming that you get. 
This is fucking fatiguing, and I've worked that whole sort of press pathway, and I'm just big. Well, it doesn't even fail. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Charging up then. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, lovely. Look at that stamp. Back to Hadouken, the biggest Hadouken in the fucking world. This is the guy. Fusion. Yes. And <laughs> One more? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Now Fusion. Yeah, I took that level. Draw apart if you want. What I like about this too, like bands like this, it creates like a, you get the tactile, like if I push through the band, then I'm getting a better external cue anyways. Elastics. The way that we train with them with limit force creates an urgency that is exponentially faster at an equal force value of mass and other things. So it's not an isometric when we get to our position, right? We are anchored in and we're true. That thing is going to go a million miles an hour if it releases. And that urgency is not isometric. It's a current. That's expometric. I just invented a word. <laughs> I'm going to find a spot where I'm very passive with the ankle or the heel lift off there, okay? So the, this movement's gonna make you want to make these like big, huge switches. I don't want that. I want quick, tight ones that allow you to keep the angle into the wall, okay? We're gonna be coiled. We're going to boom, 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 okay? Little switch like that. Everything is just replacing positions. Hit, hit switch, hit switch, hit switch, hit switch. And you can work your way down the wall as much as you'd like. You're not hitting the wall hard, you're timing it. I'm literally applying what I just did with the band, and I'm trying to be here, not through the wall, all right? So you can do this with anybody and do it high or step aerobic key, or you can work it down and be aggressive and explosive and fast, all right? Yeah. You got Q-tips over you, day. I always you know, carry Q-tips. He Q -tips. loves Q-tips, don't you? Well, the thing about a Q-tip, yeah. I get a yeah, box every Christmas of 750 of them. Q-tips. I get a box for Christmas of Q-tips. Do you go through 750 in a year? There is nothing more pleasurable than the Q-tip. And you need to know how to do it. You, you have to unspool. Oh, you unspool it? You unspool, oh. and then you re-spool. So you're That's spooling. What the heck is that? Now watch this, one. watch, watch. And you know which direction that unspools, that spools. Oh, God, yes. You have to, what you do is you create, you create little strands of cotton to grab that stuff. And if you get one, oh, yeah, I got one. Ready? And this year, I like to do that. And I like to go in. And I like to just easy. I go one way. How did you discover that you spool oh, and spool it? I was like, doing, like... I've done this since I was well, a little boy. You spent 18 hours a day. I will. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the video so far. Just a quick interruption to let you know that if you like what you're seeing so far and you want to get deeper into the WEC method stuff, I've got affiliate links for both the American website and their recently launched European website so you can buy any of the equipment or look into signing up to any of their future courses. I'll link them both in the description below. Enjoy the rest of the video. Morning all. It's my bed for the night. Slept here. Look where we are. 
That's the venue. <laughs> Morning. On the three buses on the wall, I want to do that flat jack on the buses out in the middle of the room. We're going to do uh, the throttle compression, only front side, and we'll care about the back side on it. Uh, and then we're going to do um, the, uh, uh, we're going to do the first one we do an RMTS. You're going to come and we're going to do the, uh, the pull apart. And I'm going to have you do that one back side. All right, so we're going to be giving external torsion, internal torsion, front side coil, and then we're going to be getting backside coil. And we'll be getting compress and we'll be getting expand. All right. So we've got a bilateral, bilateral, coil, coil, and then you're going to come over to the wall here, would be sort of the final station, and you're going to do just easy uh, wall drivers. Okay. And you're this would be kind of like me running the room a little bit, so like we'll work through it. If you guys want to hang out, look at each other, coach each other up a little bit, me and Dave will just kind of be flying around, but I want this to be sort of your own experience and get in tune with these concepts. So here, right, we arch up, we turn over here, and we're going to do a little ski jumper. And we'll say like, come in here and do roughly eight pumps, and then we're going to bring it down, come out, you're going to pop to this dome, and well, maybe you're not going to face this way, whatever. But we're going to get like a toe point, and then we're, we're going to go for roughly eight sort of flaps, just trying to get in tune with that internal line. Then we grab club. Here, we're front side coil. We've got it. You're going to throttle, free throttle, re throttle. There's going to be a tendency you want to do this. I want you to drive through. So you think of like leading through that elbow. Okay, we'll do right then, last thing. Okay. We'll take hand. Grab her up. Get a nice, strong position on it. You can grab whatever you need to with it. Uh, we're going to do backside, so that's step through, and I want to pull apart. So that was compressed. This is pull apart. We hold roughly 10, 15 seconds on either of these, and then just run 20 to 30 of those little. All right? Yep. Cool. Okay. That's right on this Because I'm like, I'm tired of telling people to use this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There it is. Feel yeah. it now. Good. It's like something's going so the position you take a split stance, right? I want that width in the stance that I've been talking about. The weight is going to shift to the left rail. See how that allows me to sort of screw in right there? This arm, far steer, near steer. So that's the blade still. We're just going to separate the hands. This one goes to the hip, but I don't want it to rest in, on the structure. So if it slips by, that's good. If it slips in, that's good, okay? We're going down, thumb is back, and we're, we're going to just make sure that we stay coiled on the left and we keep that far steer on the elbow here, all right? So just that little deadlift. If you want to do more like a hinge and just sort of pick it there, or if you want to actually fully set it to the floor and pick it, I'm good either way. The idea is to recognize that this movement is a coil, all right? That through if it feels natural. So then we're getting that front side to back side Very sensation, nice. but it's a coiled exercise, right? So the goal is to try to keep that shoulder to hip, so especially as you come up with this fresh. Yeah, there it is. is. There it is! Yes! So that is the coiling color. Yes! You get me? I know. You I want to see more of it. Yeah. The offhand. I'm really big into the offhand. The exercise is the coiled side. I don't even care about the dumbbell. That's an expression. All I'm doing is the exact same thing. This is what you learned on Friday morning. It was one of the first things you did. You know what I mean? Like I just I put a dumbbell on your hand and you just start maybe clicking that it's the same thing now, but we've just been doing the same thing the whole time. And that, that's the special thing about this is, I was mentioning that I don't really care about like patterns and things so much. They're not the primary for me now. You can be up and just catch high if you'd like. I'm just sort of exaggerating it and getting under it because if it gets heavy, that's going to be welcome. But that's it, the same thing, just up, catch. Right there. So thumb back, catch. Thanks. And that, again, the internal torsion valve process will let you get a really deep catch. If we were moving, like walking. Right. So here's what I like about Crocs. I don't like this Croc as much as the Croc that I have that has the fuzz and foam in it, uh -huh. or fuzz in it, because the, fu the fuzz one, they cut that angle. Right? Uh, I don't like a perfect square edge because I want to be able to roll my heel. Mm -hmm. So I don't want like a corner. Now that being said, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can modify them. But I, oh, I love Crocs. I think they're incredible. They're very functional. They look a little, but they're cool. <laughs> yeah, they look terrible. Look at the shoes we got here. We got Vivos, Crocs. All right. Vivos, Zero. Okay. Vivos, uh, So I'm, I'm going to go over shift running with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to do just... Right here, right? Okay. That's the center. Stays on this side the whole time. Okay. That's going to be really good for banking. Okay. No, when I do that, the first one, it was center to center and the elbows will look like they're flaring out or behind for the same side. This one is like hidden. If I'm left side, you almost won't see my elbow. It's like I'm concealing it. Yeah, there we go. Careful, Tim. <laughs> Here, I will actually be faster by pulsing backward than, and, uh, than trying to swing it forward. Uh, okay. So when you watch the, when you watch Deion Sanders, he runs a forty. They got to put their hand down. This hand is here, and it's just, boom. And that pulse, the other way, was so fast, and it gave me the recoil that set my mass forward. It's like pushing off the wall of a swimming pool, right? It's an open body, well, it's way. an open body, open chain plyometric. There's no closed chain to push off of. Right. I'm right, just right, in space. Right. Yeah. And if I do this, and this, and this, and this, versus boom. Boom! It's faster. It's more powerful. Mm. Center the same size. Don't catch it. Don't catch it. Don't catch it. Don't catch it. do yeah, you want to be close. Yeah, yeah. Andrew. Yeah, the head position. Yes. You learned that last night, don't you? Even scared. Good angle. Yes. No, Tom gets the back. Tom gets behind him. That's pretty good. Huh? It's not bad. Such a bar Gorgeous. Good boa. Gorgeous. Oh, nice touch. Let me just feel it. Oh, Tim Sheaf. <laughs> oh, and I... Yeah, you can... I like this. It's not yeah. too heavy, but yeah, the hand does have some weight, so you can... Gives you some, like, hand weight action. Wow. I like this rope. It gives it a different feel. And you can do one-legged stuff on that, and it really, like... You can... Exactly. The, the squirrel tail comes up, right? That's the squirrel tail. There it is. Yeah. There it is. You got that counterweight to work against, yeah? Yeah. 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 Nice, brother. Love it. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. It's that cogs of the body, you know? Yes. That Well, that's the true balance. Yeah. If you can go head outside, head inside on each foot, you got four feet. Yeah. Beautiful. And such a gorgeous rope. It's nice, thank you. It really is. It's those clubs, man. I love that. That's the... Yeah. Sound of counterweight. Yep. It's yeah. beautiful. David's just been, always been so supportive. I just want to say I'm thank you, so grateful to this man. He's provided me with a business. And you're just so... I don't know. What's the word? Altruistic with it. Because you're saying you want every... Rope yeah, flow yeah. business to flourish. So, well, basically what it is, is I promote every other rope flow community, rope seller, more so than my own, because this open source approach to it is going to make it like a kettlebell where it just goes everywhere and there'll be plenty of room for me. And the whole yeah. point of this exercise is to not jump through the rope. <laughs> so if we can get a billion people to do that, yep. well, then there's plenty to go around. And it's just growing and growing. And the earlier that you are in it, the more, the further ahead you will get and will be mm. once you put it into practice. Yep.
Yep. Ropes are a Rosetta Stone. The, by the way of the road. Well, matter of fact, <laughs> yeah. while we're at it, got the boa. I just rolled this thing, okay? That way of the rope. Yep. And it's just, it's just a gorgeous, it's, heavy rope. Yep. And it was made by with me. love. By hand. With, <laughs> with love. love. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the. You got it. Hello, Taiwan. We want to invite you to participate with us in something we call rope flow. You're going to go into a backside coil and you're going to drive through here. And this is going to force you to press to the ball of the foot and you're going to lean into that coil. If I leave that coil, I'll get out of balance and I'm going to lose myself. So it starts teaching you to live in this. And if I'm not compressing or biting, it's not going to let me like naturally it just happens because I'm leaning out. That foot wants to bite. You're going to get in here and you're going to be thinking about stretching this while activating this. Okay, it creates a really aggressive uh, stretch there. Same with this. So like I can be external and really try to slow down in the lat and like pop through there and see the lockout. How it doesn't really like go through. Because it's external. Like, like I'm yeah. sitting in the seat. It's loading through my bones and it's strong. It's not through if I'm staying external. If I go through, I switch to internal. Okay, so I'm going to stay external. Okay, I can drive and still be external if I want. Okay, and then I could go here and I can press through and go internal. Okay, you can stick out the top. Either or are internal. So internal, let me see if I can do the external. Yeah, I can do the external on here. So again, like an external at the top, you should be able to like pop right here where I'm like pulling the shoulders back and sticking the butt out. That feels really strong through my bones. I, I picked up like 900 pounds like that, so you can like yeah, feel that bounce on that. It just feels systemic. It's mm. How many mm. pounds? 900. Was there better nails involved? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> New people trying to learn how to create arches, the arch in the back and stuff. You're moving about the center. So people trying to extend don't quite get it because they don't know how to move through. Mm. You want to move through. Mm -hmm. So again, immediately giving a ridge line just mm -hmm. does it, and then you give that that support as you move through it. That's why people move to fat pads. They're looking for yeah. that shoulder support, but now, now I don't lose the range of motion while I'm going for the shoulder support. Right? I get to squeeze the squeeze. Yeah. So, I mean, nothing special. It's, yeah. it's a bench press. The main key is lining up where The, you the key is going to be on what you, when you go for the arch, you're not over the dome. Yep. Okay. I want to get in so you get the neck. So you get like this block off here and you get the wedge in, right? You can be on the toes or not, but it's the outside of the feet. And we can go like far steer to far steer. You can do near steer to far steer. You can do far steer to near steer. I, I don't care. And also too. Yeah, no, you can play. But yeah, what I'm after here is for you to recognize this position where you're, it'll feel like you're wedging ends. When you push, you get a feedback back. And then, and then that you get the contour as you go down or the support to the range of motion. All right? Shoot. Sure. Like, like, I'm building yeah, power through that. Right. Yeah, this is about the jump, but you're like, yeah, it's all the things. I'm going to take everything. Nice. Yeah, everything you do does that. Yeah, so this is awesome. Yeah. Um, what I would say, though, guys, and this is, you know, nice. I think Nordic, right? So that can stay a little more medium in the ad, right? Do it again. And the shoulder will stay rolled. So if you want the internal one, that all kind of like is there, or you do the like. Ah, and then you throw into external, oh. like Ben Patrick. That would be yeah, right, Ben Patrick. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Or well, you can raise it. That's my favorite. I do tons yeah, of razor. Yeah, I like the razor more. Because you get the spine shin angle. Yeah. So I think it's, well, little, I think it's really a little more cool athletic. about that as well is the when you're wedging your foot like that, it's a, it, equates, it equates to the vertical transmission of force through the feet because you're not hooked under with the, the hamstring. With the hamstring, curl. yeah, yeah. You're actually going through the longitudinal bone axis to make it so it, when you get up, it has more carryover. I totally agree. Okay, and you auto get the squeeze. I don't have to think about this. So he's got the internal right. squeeze. And then, okay. oh, this ball's in a different spot. Yeah, right. Right, because then that's that and that in the hammy, mm. right there. And what's cool is, what's cool about it is on the flat Nordic, the person has no reference to center. Yeah. This, my legs are saying, oh, I'm grabbing something. Mm. Like I'm picking something up. So when you're out there squeezing out here, it's like, oh, like I couldn't pick something up. Mm. Like I always keep trying to go out there and pick up a ball yeah. and then I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. There are ways that most, 
people's foot does something, and there's always the other side. And then in the book, what you're going to see, like if you do go through it, because I think quite good on the same. Um, I just say, I just show the whole foot positions and give you a thumbs up. <laughs> because you, if something works for you, you'll assume it works. No, it's not rain. <laughs> You guys call this raining Santa? No. Uh, I mean, I'd be, be fortunate to have this. Someone sneezed. Boil as you come back, and then get back to this position. Get back to that position. No, nope. you went like this. Boom. Got the spring-loaded ones, yeah. Yeah. Top secret shit. No, it's not top secret. You can post this. <laughs> you can post this. Why? Because why? Because we have gamified physics itself. Why? Because inertia. There's a weight and a spring. If I move it, the inertia of the weight overcomes the spring, and then the spring sends it up. And this is all happening faster than you can handle. No, faster or fast enough that you can handle it. Now watch this. Watch this. Do this here. Hold it here and jump up and down. Okay? Hold them here and jump up and down. Okay, do 10. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, keep the hands exactly where they were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which one was easier? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the timing on that. Yeah. You just drop your weight yeah. into Wait, it. Which yeah. one's easier? Yeah, it was easier. Okay, right. So, okay, so. Imagine what, twenty of them. Right? What did we do? What did we do? We built a vest with twenty pockets for these puppies that go. Boom! And guess what that means? It means running is fun, jumping is fun, it doesn't hurt, and you get faster in athletics, and advantage is a necessity. Cool. And then we're going to do a normal one. Yeah. 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 David Weck has a hairy back. Yeah, I did, yeah. That's a what? Hairy back. 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 I want to make sure that just everybody's clear. You felt like you got everything you wanted. If you have any questions on anything that we worked on, ask that now slash anything relevant. And then we can sort of break off and play and explore everything. And me and Dave, Dave will go on tangents about all sorts of shit. And I'll try to hone it in and do something with you guys. If you want, whatever. We just, you guys can start steering the room to us, like take advantage of us and what you want from all this. And I'll go, uh, yeah, burn me out, let's go. <laughs> So backside, backside. Right. It kind of gives you that sense that it makes you want to like, ah, mm, yeah. Because all this just should feel kind of like walking. Or you know how like people do that, yeah. right? Because that's the coil and you spindle around the coil. Right? Mm -hmm. So you feel like you have that, uh, that mark. So you always teach a press. So press can either be, can be coiled. So you start here. This would be like, I already have it. I'm coiled on this side and I press here. Okay. That would be a press or you can be here to here. Yeah. Okay. And I'm more and more into the idea of pressing over that leg. I, if you look at some of my older stuff, because I didn't know about some of what I know now, I used to always do this, which I don't mind so much with the kettlebell because I can turn through but I am more interested in this. And you're gonna see uh, being in the backside when you press. Because mm -hmm. I like that space, because that looks like the Turkish kid. Mm -hmm. So that press, so there's, yeah, there's that press, right, that you can sort of like walk like that, right? Uh, there's, there's the stationary, I'm already coiled, and I just wanna rep this, and this is how I do my 48 kilo press. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's how I do that, because I'm already under it. More like circus press. Um, the clean, right? The clean is RMT, so pick it to that, and then, oh, geez, step to it, right? To there, to there, to there, or you can just stay stationary and sort of just enjoy the natural feel of it, right? Deadlift would be coiled for me, especially the single side, like just what it is now. So even if I'm flat here, it's coiled, like I have to focus on that side, it's going to torque that way, which then turns into swing, which then turns into a split swing, which can be out. Can have like a 180 to it, right? You can take that all in the center. You have no, like normal swing, right? You can grab it by the horns. You can then use this because it's, you can steer. So we can get that near far, right? That. So we do this and we pivot. So it's a backside swing. 
in that plane, and alternate it, boom, sends off, boom, sends off, and like that would be that 180, which is all stuff we've done with the ball, the pulser. It's all the same concept. Uh, and then Dave really loves this guy. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so we do a couple ways. So we do this, where you put it, and you can like, you can be in here and you can pivot, right? You can be and front side. Out, and the further out you press that pedal bow in that. So yeah, he, he likes to like go like that with it. Out like that, it's an ultimate push pull. And when I work with like a fighter, I have him do that with cardinal direction. So we give a mathematically precise muscle memory and we give him the eye low. So if I'm here, I don't like how that feels on me. If I can get over it, I like it. If I can get around it, I love it. But this tool doesn't allow it. Yeah. So I don't like it. So, but if I want it, I go. But this is exactly to go to the near seat and have those fucking not open some fun stuff. Right? So start working more dimension. This is gonna be ingrained to do what he just did there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, trust me, dude, like I was there the first like 150 of them I did, I think I could just like not commit to it when I had speed. Yeah. And what I want you to think about is the jerk, remember I mentioned earlier that uh, Chinese world record holder, when he like, ah, he goes into this and he's in that backside coil to pull it up. Yeah. See how that lets you have that freedom. So that, that guy, watching that guy do that makes that make sense to you. Yes. And what you'll notice is like, ultimately, I don't care where your elbow goes, Tim, on that side. It's going to always want to clap just because of how much we've ingrained that thought. Uh, it, do you see, do you see that drill? I like that little, I don't know why, I've never felt you are like the, I wanted to do that before. Yep. You know? You need the weight is more. You are the main character. He's the main character, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, that feels nice. I've never, I've never. Hey, so that's the video. Those are just the moments from my camera fly on the wall style. So many more moments that I didn't capture that I wish I captured. So many more nuggets of, of wisdom of gold from David and Chris as they went. Um, hopefully you got something from that. I know it was a lot of different things and it didn't, you know, there wasn't much set up for anything. It was just kind of thrust into some random moments of Chris doing exercises with some dialogue. Um, but if nothing, hope, hope at least you got like one or two exercises that you can take away and try in your next gym session. But it gave you a little more taste of WEC method. For me, I've, you know, went four years, five years ago and went and learned from the guys themselves. I even learned so much more in that session. It takes revisiting and coming back to. It's hard to get gather just from an Instagram post or from a video like this what WEC method is really about without those precise cues, without feedback in person. But I'm hoping that this just gave you a little idea, a little deeper glimpse into what Dave is trying to share with what he's discovered here. So that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Maybe see you in the next video. Bye.